Hi, it's me, Lenny. And Yuki, kind of. I'm not in the best mood today, but hopefully watching JoJo's will change that. I believe this week we're doing episode 22. Only four left after this. Makes me a little sad. Anyways. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, we found out that Lisa Lisa is Stryza's daughter and she was the baby on the ship. That was the big plot twist from last episode. They're about to battle for the red stone. Hi Yuki. Yuki. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> Here they go. You, <laughs> the horsies. <laughs> so I don't remember perfectly, but I'm pretty sure that him and Lisa Lisa are going to battle next. I still want one of those horsies. <laughs> you got the hammer! <laughs> was that the only reason he kept the ring? Was so that he could grab stuff with it? I do remember that he said he was keeping it and was going to reward himself by unpoisoning himself after he beat Wamu. It's not? <laughs> oh no, the horsies! Ninety percent chance he'll be trampled by my vampire horses. Kind of want that on a T-shirt. Part of me thinks that JoJo is like faking and trying to psych Wamu out. I think the only like troubling thing about Joseph is that you can never tell if he's lying or telling the truth. Brilliant boy. Ooh, who got that praise? Wamu has a crush on Joseph, I swear. Like, all these paler men just love to destroy him. Where's the hammer? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> or was he? Wamu like went inside the horse? He literally went inside the vampire horse to hide from Joseph. What I like about Joseph is that he's hard to read. Like I'm trying to tell if he's actually stressed out or not. Cause like one minute he's sweating, the next minute he's smiling. <laughs> While I do enjoy the audience's commentary, I prefer Speedwagon's commentary. 
<laughs> Why? Ugh. Oh no. Ooh. That did not look good. I don't know how to feel right now. Don't want any of them to die. These are all cool characters and a couple episodes ago we lost Caesar and I don't want to lose anybody else. What? <laughs> Why? Why? No. The wine symbolism could be good or bad in this instance. Since Caesar's already dead. Like, I'm not worried about that, but maybe this could be a slight foreshadowing to Joseph somehow using Caesar's headband thingy with Hammond somehow to kill Wamu. That's my prediction of how he'll handle it in the end. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> her face. I'm excited to watch her fight. At least I hope we get to see her fight. She better not even think about taking that suicide potion. That's so... Ugh. Just that scene just pissed me off. He was acting as if he was like a Zapelli, but he's not, as far as I know. And like, snapping away and then just like throwing poison towards her, saying like, I don't like fighting women, so if you want to just die peacefully, here you go. I hope she kills him. I hope she tortures him. I want to see that. I hope that happens this episode. No! The symbolism! The symbolism of the wine always means that someone's going to crash and die. Because, as Baron said, you do not let the wine glass fall. You do not spill the wine. You do not break it. When you do, bad things happen. <laughs> I don't know why I find this hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trickster again with the trickster. <laughs> Whether that's deserving of praise is another thing. I love her so much. She is so awesome. Ah. <laughs> 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 Cars is kind of cute. Ooh, blood. Oh, no. thing that's actually logical is this <laughs> like I totally get what he's saying but it's like don't got your eyes out if you need to flip the switch on I'm really enjoying Kars's character in this episode I don't like that he disrespected Lisa Lisa but maybe it's because he likes her and he doesn't want to hurt her I would accept that answer 
but he's kind of beneath her because she's like a queen. It's like flipping the mental switch by gouging out his eyes isn't something that normal people or actual people should do. But the metaphors are strong here. So he gouged out his eyes, which kind of represent his filter on what he's seeing. That's why he said I was a fool by only relying on my eyes to see. You can't see what you feel, basically. And if you feel like a fighter, and you've been hitting your weak spots, then you kind of got to flip on that mental switch that kind of puts you into the overdrive. I don't know why I air quoted that. It's an actual reference in the show, too. It's like all your other senses get heightened when you gouge your eyes out, I assume. Poked your eyes out. <laughs> was a good counterpoint like yes everything I just explained is a beautiful metaphor but is that metaphor like better than Caesar's life I don't think so Caesar was quite the character I don't want to know who wins because they're both like really they both hold very good arguments so like morally I could be happy with either of them winning <laughs> I think they'd be cute together. They're like kind of opposites. I kind of ship them. Is that weird? <laughs> oh jeez. Is it really happening? <laughs> oh no. Don't tell me. Oh, he's scared. <laughs> please, please don't let him die. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like the most anxious I've been since the series started. <laughs> It's like he doesn't want him to die. image is just so bizarre. I think I get it now. Shut up and die. God. <laughs> He's like choking Jojo. <laughs> Too many feelings at once. 
<laughs> car. <laughs> what? Final thoughts. Got really emotional because I thought Joseph was going to die. I hope that this battle just like this one and Lisa Lisa's just continues for the rest of the series because I'm like really into it for once like the fighting parts this amount of excitement is making me not miss Caesar as much as I should this really made me feel better and it had a really good metaphor to Car's performance in that scene in all his scenes really was just so good. If you liked this reaction, please actually like it. You know, all the basic YouTube crap. Seriously, please do it. Uh -huh.